Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, every day is a reason to proclaim God's goodness. And so, as we begin this day of our life, this morning, we proclaim God's love through our very selves. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries of God's goodness and love, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working night and day in order not to burden any of you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and so is God. How devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behave toward you, believers. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father treats his children, exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walked in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you receive it not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. You have searched me, and you know me, O Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. If I say, surely the darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light. For you, darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as the day. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside, you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. As we 
begin this day by celebrating this Holy Eucharist as our thanksgiving to the Lord. This morning, we receive from Jesus an important teaching on how we can live our lives. As we begin this day, I think it is important for us to hear this lesson. In our two readings today, I would like to point out the difference on how they tried to live. In the Gospel passage today, we see Jesus calling out the attention of the scribes and Pharisees at that time. He said, your life is like a tomb. It is white outside, it is clean outside, but inside it is full of bones and filth. Sabi ni Jesus sa mga pariseyo at eskriba noong panahon na iyon, na ang kanilang buhay ay parang isang libingan sa labas maputi at malinis pero sa loob ay punong-puno ng dumi. And for Jesus, this is not an authentic life. The Pharisees and the scribes were living their lives as if it was a show. It is beautiful outside and they try to pretend and impress other people. Do you think that is an authentic life? A life worth living? Trying to impress and to pretend to other people, but inside, life is full of dirt and filth. I think it is such a tiring life to treat your life as if it was a show that every day you try to pretend and just to impress other people. This is completely different in the first reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians when St. Paul reminds the Christians at that time that they are working day and night in order to proclaim the gospel of God. That is why St. Paul said, it is not really ourselves working in our life, but it is the Word of God who is now at work in you who believe. Therefore, the life according to St. Paul, the life of a Christian, is not a show our life is not to pretend and to impress other people. Our life, day to day, should proclaim the goodness and the greatness of God. That is an authentic and meaningful life. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, I hope this could be a point of reflection for us na ang ating buhay ay hindi lamang isang palabas kung saan tayo ay nagpapakita ng panlabas nating anyo at sinisikap nating ma-impress ang mga tao sa atin. Ang sabi ni San Pablo, ang buhay natin ay dapat nagpapakita sa kapwa ng kabutihan at kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Today, let this be our point of reflection and our question for ourselves. Today, let us not just ask, how will I impress other people today? But in fact, let us ask ourselves today, how can my life proclaim God today? 
Sana ito ang tanong natin tuwing magsisimula ang araw. Hindi yung paano ko ba maiimpress ang iba sa aking sarili ngayong araw. Kahit ako ay magkunwari, magpretend, basta maimpress ko ang kapwa. Sana ang tanong natin sa pagsisimula ng araw, paano ko kaya maipapahayag ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng aking buhay? I think a good example for this is to, uh, we are now beginning or in Tokyo they are beginning the Paralympics the Olympics for those who have physical disabilities at mayroon tayong mga uh, Olympians Filipino Olympians in the Paralympics in Tokyo uh, in these coming days and we can see We are marveling at the sight of people who have uh, no limbs, but they can compete in different competitions. They have physical disabilities, but they try their best to compete in competitions. I think they are doing this not just to impress other people of what they can do, But whenever we see people, even with physical disabilities, able to compete, then they proclaim God's goodness, God's power in the midst of their lives. My dear brothers and sisters, life is not a show that you need to pretend and to impress other people. Life is God's work. And life is lived to proclaim His goodness. Amen. We ask our Lord to help us to be sincere in our actions. For every petitions, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our lives, as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may avoid doing things out of the desire to conform or out of hypocrisy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and we also specially pray for the sick, especially those who are afflicted by COVID-19. Father, help us to come to worship with a sincere heart, so that we may be able to approach you in spirit and in truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you.